Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, we'll add a few more information about what I was talking about, propagation using the gray line. Gray line, of course, being uh, the... Uh, you know, area where it's technically it's it's technical term is a terminator, but it's it's we have gray line propagation. It's where the sun sets or rises around the planet, depending on where you are around this gray line. Now, one of the things that is important to understand here is that the fact that we have a flat map makes the perspective of the gray line um, difficult to grasp as to where you can hear stations. So um, one of the questions was, well, it seems to be more north and south vertical in this case. Uh, not exactly, but it depends on the season because right now the lines are very, very, um, you know, they're, they're pretty much vertical. But if you look at the same map on the 21st of December, you'll see that it actually has a rounded shape. And if you look in June, it still has a rounded shape, but in the opposite way. Um, it's it's something you have to examine depending on the date and when you are. So the thing is, is you are able to enhance when you're in a gray line, the reception. So say here, so here's Spain and Spain right now is in the gray line. Okay. That means anything and that means anything here and even at the top because there's a gray line here at the top also we don't see it really well but there's there's some gray line happening here anything along that path can be enhanced so if we look at spain is here and we're getting into gray line is in and new zealand has gray line right now Technically, there could be some enhanced propagation making you hear New Zealand. Um, but like I said, the angle, this will change. And, the, you know, if you look at the same map in a month, in two months, you'll see that these, the gray line's changing. It's not exactly the same. So depending on the month you're going to do it, you're not going to get the same reception and the same receive. Right now, it's very, very vertical on, on on a flat map like this. It's not technically vertical on the Earth itself uh, because it's a round planet. But um, an example of this is right now, it's positioned for me when it actually comes to me. It's perfect for the Antarctic LRA-36 because it's pretty much in line with it. But as it shifts and changes angle, because you'll see that it's not always vertical the way it is now you'll see that it will shift in at an angle at some point that will go away meaning each month the gray line will bring you different things to listen to and different areas of the world where you can have enhanced propagation so it's not a vertical thing it's a gray line thing and you got to think in terms of that so that means if you have gray line between Spain and, um, you know, we're getting closer to, to Japan, if, if there would be such a thing, it's it, it looks vertical because of a map. But in reality, Japan is pretty much east-west, but it's just that the propagation follows the gray line. That's, that's the thing. It's Just think about it as a signal is enhanced and follows the gray line, that area of sunrise, sunset around the world. And for some, you know, interesting propagation, the ionosphere shift and changes because as the sign, as the, uh, the sun sets or the sun rises, uh, it is different. And the properties of the ionosphere change and will enhance a lot of the signals on many frequencies. So it's really a question of um, not vertical horizontal or anything it's really a question of follow the gray line and it's also a question of you don't see it now but if you look at the gray line in december or in june or every month you'll see that the shape changes every month 
uh, as we go into winter and spring and, and all of that. So uh, just follow the gray line and look at where gray line its land. And that will mean that anything that is close to it doesn't have to be exactly in it, but anything close to it might be enhanced suddenly uh, with a peak. There's a certain peak. Often the peak matches when you're in it, but, um, you know, it, it shifts and it changes. And, of course, this moves as the day goes ahead. So um, just follow the gray line. Don't think about it as a vertical, horizontal thing. And on a flat map like this, it's very difficult to give a, a good perspective of what it actually looks like because uh, the flat map doesn't represent necessarily what it looks like. So this is another view of it. Look at how it is. It, it, just looking at um, this perspective of the map, which looks more like a uh, you know, rounded 3D map of the Earth centered in North America because that's where my map is centered. Um, there's no more vertical or horizontal. This is the gray line. The gray line is around here. So you can see what the gray line looks like. And so it's not, a like I said, a vertical horizontal thing. It's really just the shifting through where the sun rises or sun sets on the earth. So this perspective, I think, gives a better idea that, yeah, okay, is what the flat map is giving me is, is not the reality of what it actually looks like. It's more of a perspective based on a flat map. And as you see here, this one shows it very differently, but it's the same daylight, uh, daytime, nighttime kind of map. Just the view is different. Hope this clears up a little bit more of uh, what it's all about. And like I said, gray line propagation is amazing. You'd be surprised at what you could uh, you could get uh, when you're in the gray line. And it's, it's a fantastic time to tune around everywhere on the bands and see what you can hear. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.